I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope overview for Capricorn, for us Capricorns, for the week of November the 23rd. There's a lot happening in this week. It's quite an eventful week. There's a lot happening right in the sign before you, which is your 12th house. So it's really going to prompt you to get in touch with what it is that you really want to do, firstly. Secondly, to be able to put those thoughts and imaginative uh, inspiration into action, it's going to allow you to really clear some of those blockages. Okay, so what I'd suggest is try and have some solo time. Um, and some solo time where, and I know that's not always easy for anybody at Learning Capricorn because, you know, life gets busy and we have responsibilities and we take our responsibilities seriously but you know as I'm sure I've said to you many times when you fill up every moment every day <clears throat> there's no time for thinking and planning and, and strategizing and restructuring and this I think is very important this week now particularly as there's a um, two squares which are more confronting aspects between Saturn and Mars, uh, Saturn and the Sun, sorry, and Neptune. Now uh, this can put a little bit of confusion around, particularly with communication, uh, particularly with dealing with other people trying to get things into place. It's likely this week that you're not going to be able to get things locked down as much as you want. But after this week, because there's a lot of things that are going to, there's a lot of triggers this week that like push things into getting settled. Like there's a full moon, the moon is in your solar sixth house. Uh, so your day-to-day -day schedule and getting organized and being able to get you know ahead with your work is you know that can come to a trigger where you go okay I've got to make some changes I've got deadlines looming this is what I've got to do and you make those decisions it's also a warning here to look after your health okay so as you're being busy and trying to cater to everybody else as well as yourself don't let your health and well-being fall to the bottom of the list and I know it's not easy I mean I really you know, just to be able to get to the gym three or four times a week means that I have to work late at night. Well, you know, so be it. But um, something, you know, it's important to just make the time for your health. And if it means that something has to give somewhere else or at the other end of the day, then sure. That's what you have to do because you know what they say, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. And... Um, I know as we get older, that little phrase becomes more and more important. You know, it makes more sense. Okay. Um, all right. So there's <clears throat> Venus sits in your um, solar 10th house. So connections around business and certainly discussions around business or discussion about opportunities can come through this week. Venus does have a favorable aspect with uh, Mercury communication planet but there is a square with Venus and Uranus. So Uranus is in your family zone, your home area, domestic scene. Venus is in your career, your work. So as this to me, uh, if something will happen in one area, it can affect the other area. That's the domino of life, okay? But um, just see what comes out of this week. It's really a week to push the reset button and uh, move forward. But in doing so, it can unsettle things. But when, that, when all the pieces fall back into place, then it's likely to be very, very good for us, okay? Love and luck to you. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.